Hello, this is Pastor Stephen Anderson from Faithful Word Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. And at this point in our studies, we're just going to bite the bullet and go ahead and learn the uppercase Greek alphabet because the next verse we're going to go over, Revelation 22, 21, has a capital letter in it that's really going to throw you for a loop, uh, which is the capital Ita. So it's better if we just get it out of the way. Let's just learn it at this point. Now, if you haven't already done so, go back and learn the lowercase alphabet first. It's way more important to know the lowercase alphabet. But at this point, I think we're ready. We've already seen a lot of uppercase letters. Let's just learn the whole uppercase alphabet. All right? So first of all, we have the first letter, alpha. Good news. It's pretty much exactly like the letter A in English. And a lot of these capitals are going to be very much like their English counterparts. So alpha, and then the next one is vita. And vita, again, should look pretty familiar to you. The next one is gamma. We've already learned that one. The next one is delta. Now, delta is another one that's very different from its lowercase form. Because if you remember, the lowercase delta is the one that sort of looks like a little black round bomb with a wick coming out of it. Okay, That's our uppercase delta right there. It just looks like a triangle. And you probably remember that from math or science class. So we've got alpha, vita, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon is just like our English capital E. Alpha, Vita, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon. Then we've got Zeta. Again, looks just like our English Z. Now this is the tricky one that's going to throw you off. Eta. Now that looks exactly like a capital H. That is not an H, so that is Eta, and it makes the E sound, remember? And then after eta, we've got theta. So you'll notice most of these capital letters in Greek, they either look just pretty similar to their lowercase counterpart, or they look pretty similar to English uppercase letters. So they're not really that hard to learn. I just didn't want to confuse you, which is why I didn't bring them up until now, because it's just a lot easier just to start out by learning the lowercase and just kind of stick with that for a while. But at this point, you might as well learn it. Alpha, Vita, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon. Zeta, Eta, Theta. Yota, Kappa. Again, those are pretty easy, just like English. Yota, Kappa, Lambda. And Lambda looks like a triangle, except it has no bottom. So that's Lambda. And then we've got Mi, Ni. Okay, those are pretty obvious. Then the next one, Xi is made with three horizontal lines and the one in the middle is just not as long as the other two. Okay, So the top and the bottom are a little longer and I hope you have a piece of paper and you're writing these out as we go. Don't just watch the video. Grab a piece of paper, write yourself a row of, uh, well you probably don't need a row of alphas and vitas because you're probably already pretty good with those, but you know, write out a row of gammas, write out a row of delta, write out a row of eta, theta, the ones that you need work on, lambda, mini, Xi, okay, write that out a few times, get used to that. The, the top line and the bottom line are longer, the one in the middle is a little shorter. Mi, ni, xi, omicron, looks just like an English capital O. P, okay, just like that. And then after P, we've got, of course, rho. Sigma, which is basically just a horizontal line then a diagonal line, then another diagonal line, and then a horizontal line. That's the uppercase sigma, tof, epsilon. So the epsilon looks like the English capital Y. Epsilon, phi, chi, psi, and omega. And again, I'm not taking a lot of time to go through this because I took a lot of time to go over the alphabet when we learned the lowercase, okay? So go back and watch that video if you haven't already. That's more important. I just wanted to quickly expose you to the uppercase alphabet, though. And if you remember, the way that I memorize this is I break it down into sections. The first five is one section. Alpha, Vita, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, okay? Because again, the order is pretty similar to our English order A, B, C, D, E, even though the words are, or the letters are a little bit different. Alpha, Vita, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon. That still helps me remember it. 
alpha, vita, gamma, delta, epsilon. Then the next three I group together, zeta, eta, theta, because they rhyme. Zeta, eta, theta. Then the next three, yoda, kappa, lambda. And then I have another little rhyme that goes mi, ni, xi, omicron, pi. Then we have the next four that I group together, uh, rho, sigma, taf, epsilon. And then these three that are kind of unfamiliar letters to us in English, which are epsilon, uh, I'm sorry, good night. Uh, the three unfamiliar letters to us in English, phi, chi, and psi. And then of course the final letter is omega. And if you're an electrician, you're familiar with this symbol omega because one of the measurements that we use a lot in electrical work is, is the measurement of the ohm, right? And you've probably heard of Ohm's law. And the symbol for ohms is this little omega symbol. So in the next video, we're going to learn Revelation 22:21 in Greek.